Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I am making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time and not yet subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming videos. We know that flywheels are being used in IC engines. In this video, let us see why size of flywheel is smaller, lighter for multi-cylinder engine than that for the single cylinder engine. Before we shall answer that question, let us brush up ourselves the function of a flywheel in an engine. We know that flywheel is used to store the mechanical energy, right? In an IC engine, there are four strokes involved. We get power only during one stroke, that is nothing but power stroke. In all other three strokes, we need to spend power. The flywheel, in fact, stores the excess energy that is produced during the power stroke and supplies those stored energy during other three strokes. Now let us see why single cylinder engine requires larger or heavier flywheel. This is a typical four cylinder diesel engine and its corresponding turning moment diagram is shown here. As you could see, there is only one power stroke for every two revolutions of the crankshaft. So we need to store energy during that stroke and the same energy has to be spent across all other three strokes. That means a lot of energy needs to be stored. As you could see from the turning moment diagram, the fluctuation of energy is very high. The fluctuation of energy delta E is more. The energy storing capacity of the flywheel should be more and the end size of the flywheel should be larger, heavier. Now let us take the case of a multi-cylinder engine. This is typical four-cylinder engine that is used in an automobile. As you could see the location of the flywheel. On the right hand side diagram, we have turning moment diagram. The aqua blue line shows the turning moment diagram for a four cylinder engine. In a four cylinder engine, we get four power strokes for every two revolutions of the crankshaft. That means for every half a rotation, we get one power stroke. So we have been producing the power continuously and the ends the requirement of a flywheel to store energy is very less. When the fluctuation of energy is very less, the smaller flywheel, the lighter flywheel will do the job for us. Finally, let us do a quick recap. When all other things are constant, multi-cylinder engine will require smaller lighter flywheel than that of the single cylinder engine. When we compare four cylinder engine with the six cylinder engine, six cylinder engine will require smaller flywheel because the fluctuation is still lesser than that of the four cylinder engine. Now let us compare two single cylinder engines, two stroke and four stroke engines. Since two stroke engine produces power stroke for every rotation of the crankshaft, it requires comparatively smaller flywheel than that of the four-stroke engine. That's it. Hope this video helped you. If so, support the work by liking this video, sharing it to your friends, subscribing the channel and hitting notification bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.